My name is Lillian Curlett, and I'm with Jamison Memorial Human Resource and Development Agency. Um, our agency is a faith-based organization, begun uh, in 1993 uh, out of our church, Jamison Memorial CME Church. It was formed for the purpose of providing educational enrichment for children and adults in the community because we saw a need in the community where our church is located. Since 1993, we have expanded and we are all over, uh, literally all the corners of St. Louis, north, south, east, and west. We are, Christian Methodist Episcopal is where it all came from, but we don't restrict the people that we serve to any faith. Uh, we serve all faiths. The stated mission is for us to provide uh, programs that supplement the educational system, programs that are enriching, that support families, and that support the educational experiences of children. We have really, I think, lived out that mission uh, because we continue to provide the educational enrichment for children. Um, only I think it's gone to a different level than we ever thought it would be. We have advanced to year-round programming, uh, serving hundreds of kids in several locations. So our real mission is to continue to serve those children and their parents. My heart goes out to parents. Um, our children live in a difficult world. And when you have a parent who is inadequately prepared for what's going on in our communities around the world now, children suffer. And when you can't get a parent to sit down and understand that a child has to have the basics and a parent has the responsibility to provide those, and a lot of our parents don't get that. Um, so we serve parents by getting them involved with their children's educational process um, and then giving them some tools and resources to help strengthen their parenting skills. The need is, is massive in my opinion. I feel like for so many of our children they get left behind and when they don't have somebody at home who can help them with homework, who can get them to that next level, they're lost. Um, so many of our children can, can be great um, givers in the community that they're in. They just don't know how because they don't, a lot of our children don't have brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, parents that have gone on to higher education. And I think when they participate in our program, they get to see people that look like them um, who are in college and they know that it's a real opportunity and it's possible. And I think that is one of the greatest strengths that we offer. I've seen children come and they weren't on grade level reading and with mathematics. And year after year you get to see their successes and you get to see them come in with their report card from one year to the next and the grades are getting better and their comprehension is getting better and their confidence and they're empowered. It's all improving. I love this program so much because I was one of those children, those at-risk youth that we serve and that's why it's so easy or the passion is so great. Uh, for me or for my brothers and sisters or anybody for that matter to give back because we were these scholars um, and someone gave us an opportunity and so we just want to do the same thing. We give back um, and we do it um, with humility. Um, we love what we do um, and for a lot of us this is not just a job, it's not a job, it's a calling. It's a calling from God. Uh, so many times I've tried to run away from it. And um, that, that little voice says, this is where you're supposed to be. Having the capacity to, to reach out and, and do something tangible for another individual, uh, and especially for a child, to me is priceless. Um, it is so fulfilling. I, I, I've got the best job in the world, in my opinion. 